So guys, I'm Drew Harmon. I'm the student council president, and this is the 2018-2019 school year recap. So I remember at the beginning of the year, we had our first football game in early September, and we had a bunch of people drive up to Decatur to watch us play MacArthur. And that was a really close game. I remember losing like 6-8. But uh, we all wore black, and despite the fact that we had to drive all the way up to Decatur, we got such a fat crowd. And that really set the tone for how the rest of the year was about to go. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember, because everyone was there, uh, the one game against Lanfear. We were trying to see who's best, us, Southeast or Lanfear, winning the cup, and uh, we filled up those entire two sections with people. And we just, that's the most people that has ever been at any game outside of city basketball. So it was absolutely incredible. This entire football season, we had a great student section. We had a lot of energy, we had a lot of spirit, and honestly, a lot of fun. Uh, nothing compares, though, to the win over Griffin in the homecoming game. So homecoming week was really solid all in all. We had uh, Massacre, AKA Soul and Olympics, and uh, it was you know our seniors' last massacre ever, but went on such a high note, a lot of explosive energy there, and I was just really grateful to have the opportunity to do it one more time. The energy of all the classes just in this sort of battle to the death in dodgeball, volleyball, to the pyramid, pyramid building, probably the most intense sport. I remember seniors won the Solon Cup, per usual, and uh, the thing that really struck out to me about Homecoming Week the most was just all the themes and all the decorations. Uh, the themes were really fun this year. This is some of the most fun I've had with any of the themes. A lot of the games went really well during lunch. I have a, we, I remember us having a hot dog eating contest where Tim was a dead ringer. Tim Delano, he absolutely crushed it. Also, special shout out to Nate Borders. I think seniors took the dub on both of those. The hallway decorations were phenomenal. I remember the seniors were my personal favorite. Our officers did a really superb job. And then also, of course, in the commons, in the hallway leading up to the commons, just beautiful decorations. I think this is probably the best decoration since I've been to SHS. Just everyone who worked on them, so artistic and really did an amazing job to make it look beautiful. The pep assembly, I remember we went over cheers, we got really pumped to face off against Griffin, but in doing that, I think we were more excited just to out cheer Griffin. I don't think any of us were expecting to actually beat them, which we ended up doing, and it was absolutely magical, and just a great way to go out after four years of losing to Griffin, finally showed them, you guys don't even have football going. I think that's a lot of our favorite parts of the year. If you take away one thing from high school, remember the numbers 49, 41. We beat Griffin. I remember at the beginning, we all you know got ahead really early and we were all optimistic. And then at some point during the game, it just kind of crushed our sphere. But we kept cheering loud and eventually we came back. And at the very end, we could not believe that we just beat SHG. And please return your stolen pylons if you still have them. So fall play, ask any girl. Will Moffitt, Kiki Cross, Thomas George in the lead, and of course all the wonderful supporting roles. Uh, I think I thought it was a really great choice. A shout out to Molly Thornberry for directing that. I, it was one of the funniest plays I've watched here, and overall most enjoyable. I like that by me, like everything I'm saying here was really good. Special shout out to SHS stage crew. Lunch on the lawn was a great time. Always love lunch on the lawn because it's nice to actually get outside for a little bit during the day. You know, you miss some fourth hour, you get to go out on the lawn with all your friends, you know, either pack your lunch or eat the hot dogs and slushies they give us. Girls volleyball had a phenomenal season. I remember we got gypped at City. It was so close and we all thought we should have won. But in my heart, we're still the winners. You know, we always went out and supported them and show them that, yes, we do really care about you. We do recognize that you guys are a wonderful volleyball team. And uh, they really just had a great run. I, I think watching them is always incredible to me. I can't imagine how they can be so athletic in those ways. I remember the first volleyball game. We got a lot of people to come out. And that, again, just like the first football game, set the tone. No, we're not only going to get a fat crowd for you know football and basketball. We're going to support every sport at this school. And then Volleyball City, we just filled up, we spilled out past our student section and went into where the parents were going to sit. We had so many people and so much energy. I remember it was must have been at least 90 degrees in there with all the people just smushed in together. Boys soccer, as always, we have a great boys soccer team. Uh, we didn't win super sectionals, although that was a great time getting everyone out there in red. But I remember us being first in the conference all around. Best team we've probably had because it's not just one guy carrying the team, it's everyone on the team working together 
to make this sort of super team. So I'm looking forward to hearing about them next year and see how they do too. So boys basketball, this was a really great season for a lot of the seniors ended out with. And for me, and I think I speak for a lot of the senior class when I say it was great watching us have a very decent season. We got a lot of people out to our SHG game where we lost, but it doesn't really matter because at City we ended up beating Griffin. And as we all know, what happens at City basketball is final. That's all that really is important. Um, uh, we had a great city tournament run for basketball all around too. Uh, our team almost beating Southeast, the state team, as well as Lanfear, and definitively beating Griffin was just amazing to watch. And then also, I want to give a huge shout out to the entire school. The energy of the student section was unreal. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. I think that is one thing that throughout my four years at SHS has gotten progressively better every year. Our city tournaments, just uh, how it's run the themes, the different skits, I thought it was Definitely the most fun I've ever had at a city tournament. We all did such a phenomenal job coming out, being loud, and getting rowdy for our team. You know, we really all gave it our all. Uh, there's honestly nothing I would have changed about the whole experience. I think this is probably my favorite year of Boy City Tournament. The second pep assembly was one of my favorite moments of the year because everyone was just anticipating City so much. We were all in our little cowboy outfits, cowboy cowgirl western outfits, and we got everyone to go up and and we had Lily go and lead the baby shark and all that stuff. And we did the Wolf of Wall Street chant. It was absolutely magical time. Really got the blood flowing for City. Really made everyone feel like this is important. And I really do need to go out and give this tournament my all. Boys basketball in their uh, postseason also did pretty well. Like almost winning their game. And uh, I think the seniors just closed it out phenomenally. I mean, Zaire Harris, Nate Borders. Uh, Caleb Small, you know, those guys and all the other seniors give them their all for that team. So, great season, boys. Next year, taking the dub over Lamp here in Southeast. I'm feeling it. So, girls basketball, as always, again, had a, an amazing season. I mean, we just had such a solid team. You know, Nicole Suela, Abby Ratch, Maya Fetter, just a, three that pops to mind instantly, just all around phenomenal athletes. And, but it's not like they alone carried the team because we just have such an all-around solid and consistent girls basketball team. It took a 6 P at their city tournament. It was incredible watching them against, especially Southeast and Lanfear play their girls teams because it was like watching, you know, team of professionals play a bunch of middle or elementary schoolers. And even against Griffin, we were, I think, definitively better. They are so good, just unmatched in the area. The cheerleaders had a great season, of course. I mean, their season lasts all dang year, but they really had a, you know, they, as always, you know, rallied up the student section, you know, let us in the, all everyone's favorite cheers like Penguin and Banana. So shout out to all of the cheerleaders. You guys did a great job this year. Cross country, both boys and girls had a great run. The boys took second place in state in their division, which is phenomenal. That's the best that they have done in our four years here. So that's really a huge deal. And all around, just a great season. I think the girls had a pretty good season as well. I don't know. I don't know if I, they deserve phenomenal. I don't, I don't know how well they did. Swim season. The boys took back city, and the girls. The girls had a great bout this year. Uh, the swim team. I remember going out to city. Got a decent crowd there, and they really gave it their all. The swimmers and divers, and then. For boys, the boys took back City and had a much better season this year than they did last year, just greatly improved from it. So great job, boys and girls swimmers. Again, I'm too close to that. Scholastic Bowl went undefeated in the CSA. Uh, I just love Scholastic Bowl, everything about it. Uh, unfortunately, I've not been able to make it to a match, but I remember there's one match we tried to get a lot of people to go to. We made it the game of the week. We got so many people that at some point they ended up getting kicked out just because they're getting too rowdy and excited for our academic athletes. So that's how much we love Scholastic Bowl at SHS. Not only do we have some of the best athletes or individual athletes going here academically as well, this just proves how superior we are. And I know the wrestling team also had a pretty decent season this year and also sent some of the athletes to state. Huge shout out to Jacques Plies. He's been with the team for four years and he's been killing it every year. I think he's been with it for four years. I'll tell him so. So golf this year, took back the Washington Street Cup, and that was actually right before City Volleyball as well. So I remember uh, a bunch of the guys who play golf taking the cup to volleyball, us letting Griffin know that we just dominated the golf course and now we're gonna dominate the volleyball court. Uh, the infamous do-rag day also. 
We always have new clubs sprouting out around here. I know Garden Club is one. Pretty soon, I think there's a walking club coming. If you need more information on that, come talk to me. Uh, if you really like walking, you know, it's just gonna be the club for you. And also, if your name happens to be Ben, or if you have a claim to your name being Ben, then SHS Ben Club is the club for you. Come check them out, join a club, get involved in your school. Once again, I'm Drew Harmon. I'm the SHS Student Council President. Uh, this was the 2018-2019 school year recap. Uh, if I have any words of wisdom for you guys, it's, you know, us seniors are gonna be here next year. Very sad. For all of us seniors, my words of wisdom for you is take all that we've learned during these four years and use them to better our lives. And for all of you underclassmen, my advice to you is to appreciate the time that you have left here because it flies by. You really don't get another time in your life where you're trapped in the same building all day but with all of your best friends. It's really something. Also, special thank you to SHS Photo and Video Club, and thank you very much, Dayton.